welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms hello everyone you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today in this video we are going to talk about world pollution prevention day now india celebrates this day on 2nd of december every year this day is observed in the memory of people who lost their lives in bhopal gas calamity bhopal gas tragedy occurred in 1984 on the night of 2nd to 3rd december many people died due to poisonous gas methyl isocyanate also known as mic now bhopal gas tragedy is considered as one of the biggest industrial pollution disasters the objective of this day is to spread awareness on managing and controlling industrial disasters to prevent the pollution produced by industrial processes or human negligence to make people and industries aware about their importance of pollution control acts now what are some of the preventive measures which we can take as individuals in society we can definitely have more natural ways to interact with nature if we can travel by cycle or even by our foot we should not use vehicle we should not pollute the environment only if it is necessary we must take our bikes or vehicles we can have safe environment for all the other living beings on this planet birds insects plants we need to protect them we need to plant more trees we need to replenish nature the more nature survives the more chances of people is to survive due to different types of pollution natural resources such as water air land or forest are being affected speedily thus it is essential to implement the rules and regulations properly to protect the environment and reduce pollution the central pollution control board was constituted in september 1974 under the water prevention control of pollution act 1974 further cpcb was entrusted with the power and functions under the air act 1981 it provides technical guidance to the ministry of environment forest and climate change government of india now what are the functions of this board which has been constituted by government of india under ministry of environment forest and climate change to promote cleanliness of streams and wells in different areas of the states by prevention control and abatement of water pollution to improve the quality of air and to prevent control or abate air pollution in the country now some of the facts of air pollution which i would like to share with you now 9 out of 10 people worldwide do not breathe safe air air pollution kills 7 million people every year globally 4 million of these people die because of indoor air pollution a microscopic pollutant pm2.5 is so tiny that it can pass through mucous membrane and other protective barriers to damage lungs heart and brain the key pollutants include particulate matter a mix of solid and liquid droplets arising from fuel com combustion nitrogen dioxide and road traffic ozone at ground level caused by the reaction of sunlight with pollutants from industrial facilities and vehicles emission and sulfur dioxide an invisible gas from burning fossil fuels like coal children and old persons are highly affected by air pollution air pollution is also responsible for climate change now what are the ways to breathe fresh air now we can limit walking or busy street during rush hour and if you have a young child with you try and lift them up above the level of vehicle exhaust don't burn waste as smoke that results damages the health promote use of renewable energy enhance plantations such as urban forest and green roofs for reducing pollution in urban areas 
turn off the lights and electronics if you're not using them. These are some of the many ways in which we can protect our environment and save the nature. And hence, we'll be saving this beautiful world from pollution. So if you like this video, you can press the like button, you can subscribe to my channel and share this video on social media. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.